Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the free Unity assets for December 2022, where I feature a collection of the best assets for this month. And I'll put all the links down in the description for everything I featured today and the ultimate set of over 60 different free assets for this month. And towards the end, I will feature the free Unreal Engine Marketplace assets, which you can also be able to convert to use in Unity 2. And all the links I'll throw down below. Do check out all the sales that are going on at the moment. Yeah, and also you can get a premium asset on the Unity Asset Store. And there's a video that I created about it all below. And Humble Bundle has brought back the Unity Tools Bundle, which you can also get hold of. And be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 170 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So first of all, for the free Unity assets, we've got the Editor Autosave. This one can be a flaw in the engine at any time when you're working, and this adds support to automatically save your scene and your project without you ever having to actually do Control S or make sure that it's remembered and can save you a hell of a lot of time. The next two are Scene Bookmarks and Camera Bookmarks Free, and they both do a similar job. You can switch between different camera positions with a single button press. So in either case, you've got a nice little editor extension or a UI, which you can select between cameras. So then you can skip to those places within your scene. Next one, we've got Soft Pixel Cables Light. So this allows you to create a cable which is rendered with the use of customizable wind animations. You can use different colored modes. It supports the sprite renderer or canvas renderer, and it's suitable for 2D games, and you can have all in edited tools. And remember, this is the free version. So there is a premium version, which includes more features. The next one is something called Auto Level. This is an open source level generator, which offers a great set of editor tools to configure and create your own art resources and control the level generation process. So this includes a bunch of dungeon art, which you can use to get yourself started. You can control the weight of individual blocks, have loads of editor tools, be able to rebuild sections of levels, directly within the system. The next one is console enhanced free, and this is a replacement for the Unity editor console, which there is a pro version of this, but this one does allow you to do text search filtering, context colored call stacks, multi-select, display options, scroll effects, color flash effects, and loads of different stuff to make your console so much more easier to identify the things that you might have problems. Next one is the NARPG Core. So it's a role-playing game engine which allows content creators to rapidly create unique and engaging short stories, scenarios, adventures, or even full games. So it's got full built-in support for full damage, gliding, swimming, flying, and mounts, Xbox controller support, full UIs, including minimaps, main maps, combat logs, scrolling, lots of different things for mechanism and specific animations, a quest system, dialogue system, leveling, anything for the characters, crafting and gathering, factions and reputations, combat, combat pets, and a whole host of awesome features. Next one is we have pixelated planets, which includes over 60 2D sprites ready to be used in space games, whether you want to create meteors, galaxies, planets, and more. It's got 17 different dark holes, galaxy stars, 48 different planets, moons, and suns with four different meteors at 1024 resolution. Next one, we've got Ultimate XR. This is a professional XR framework and toolkit for Unity, and this is to allow to simplify the development of virtual reality applications from simple prototypes to full AAA scale scenes. And it's a free and open source solution which has been tested and developed in a full professional environment. It includes a full example scene, complete web page, a massive community, cross device compatibility, state of the art grab and manipulation system, integrated hand positioning and editors, scalable architectures, clean code. It's got all the different locomotion system, UI support, and code ready to go, which might be something to take your VR to the next level. Next one is the classic action RPG framework, and this allows you to create a classic RPG similar to a Diablo-esque dungeon crawler, lots of different abilities for cooldowns, delays, range modifiers, more, lots of different attributes for leveling, resources, stats, combat links, auras, classes, combat, inventories, items, loot, quests, quest logs, quest chains, and so, so much more. Next one is the PSX Shader Kit. So this allows you to achieve 
console accurate PS1 style aesthetics for absolutely free, which includes emulations of dithering, colour banding, retro vertex lighting, flax shading, precision vertex colouring, triangle sorted and interlacing. Next one is something called lean localization, which has been updated really recently, which is pretty high rated and this allows you to add multi-language support to your games with lean localization. Easy to use with long-term support, it uses Google Translate with dynamic values, you can detect specific language, save, use TextMess Pro, use localization for different fonts, sprites and sounds. Next one is the Parallax Dusk Mountain Background, which is a free pixel art parallax background in this Dusk Mountain theme. So now we've got three more from the people who make the lean style assets. So we've got lean transition, we've got lean pull, and we've got lean touch, which all have very specific features. Lean touch being for specific touch features for cross-platform gesture support and touch support. Lean pull to do all your pooling needs, be able to increase performance when you need to recycle, respawn, despawn, or reuse specific prefabs within your scene. And then lean transition to, this is a tween library which requires no code to be able to do specific delays, times, events, inserts, cues, repeaters, and key presses without ever touching a line of code. And the last two are the Sunnylands expansion trees and the house props pack. And these are in a really whimsical queue style, which is suitable for the Sunnylands, which is a really high rated free pack on the store. And so this includes a bunch of specific stylized houses and regular trees in different styles so be sure to check out all those links in the description with all the sales and everything down below too and we'll take a look at the free unreal engine marketplace assets for december 2 and the first one is the hospitality pack which includes a bunch of restaurant equipment industrial kitchen supplies and everything you need to get started with hospitality with over 300 different meshes whether that's everything from chairs sofas kitchen cutlery crockery glasses, hotel related items, 56 different signs, lots and lots of items in here. The next one is the modular gothic temple medieval winter or snow. This has over 133 different meshes with 28 materials to create a ruined medieval gothic style temple. The next one is the platformer stylized cube world volume one with over 100 different models from platforms, props, power-ups, obstacles, treasure chests, moving platforms, clouds, fog, vegetations, and so much more, comes with its own power-ups, blueprints, particle systems, and high-quality environments ready to get you started. The next one is the Stylized Dynamic Nature, which is a selection of trees, foliage, and 3D assets across 2K resolution with lots of different master materials to create a vibrant, stylistic style environment. Next one is the Stylized Truck Pack with one truck, one gasoline truck, a box, a trunk, and five different decals. And last one is the Hand Painted Environment which is a selection of vegetation, building obstacles, ruins, and other props with 86 different meshes, ranging it from as low as 1K to 2K resolution, all ready to go with low triangle counts and ready to create a really cute stylistic town. Be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 170 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Also check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and massive savings on my website too. Big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Jean Pomney, Manos Berikas, Walter Dunson, René Leisure, Alyssa Fade, and Daniel Getter, Jan Kishikawa, Takuya Hush, Thomas Merciliski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Osama Abdul, Hoglan Nigan, Thomas Lopez, Crew for Life Gaming, Sunu, Sungji Park, Mercury27, Brandon Mannion, Austin Certain, Gene Y. Quaid, Duane Cooper, James McCarthy, Johan Alixson, Leslie Winter, Alison Corkill, Anna Kirinov, Kevin Martin, and Heather Fletcher. Thank you so much to all my other amazing patrons and everybody who comes to watch this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.